Welcome back, everybody. Hello, guys. Joe here. Gavin. Part two of the season premiere of Mad Men. Correct. Um, for those of you watching on uh, Patreon, remember that we're doing two at once here, yes. and then we'll not have one next week because we're starting a new show that is going to take some trial and error with. Yep. Um, so we're doubling up here yes, at, we are. at, at uh, the request of Patreon subscribers. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for being patient. If you did not jump over to Patreon to watch this episode, so yeah, we're you, back. Did, you didn't get to see part two until now. Yeah. Um, we're not going to do too much talk. I thought we did a pretty good wrap up we since we're kind of like mid show here. Yeah. Um, other than a few things we didn't mention, one. Uh, the zoomy zoomy zoo thing zoomy zoo. was really cool. <laughs> um, um, Don is in a weird place, but Still not, sucks. yeah, it, it, it feels like he's in old habits that uh, he seems to be back to treating Megan now. Yeah, how he kind of treated Betty, right? Yeah. Why yeah. aren't Why aren't you? You know, Betty knew to only do what I said. Yeah, which, which really was the message there, right? Wait, did Betty never have the birthday party for you? No, because I forbade it. Oh. There you go. That's the marriage you want. Yeah. So I wonder if we're going to get a lot of empathy for Betty watching his new relationship with Megan. By the end of – whenever him and Megan are done, which I'm assuming it's going to happen. Probably. Probably. I mean, it, it, I mean we are – we're one episode into their marriage. And, oh, like, yikes. and already <laughs> – yeah. Now, maybe Don, like, sees that he's spiraling into old patterns and gets himself out of it. Yeah. Um, or maybe not. Um, so – I'm not ready to say yet that I think that their marriage is going to end. It might. I'm just um, assuming. I, right. I don't, like I said, there's, the only inkling we have of that is how he acted at the end yeah, of the Yeah, he, he, it sucked, but I mean... Plus I, we don't. Right. But, but I mean, obviously, you know, it's very early. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and any number of things can happen. Don might grow up. We and thought he was Megan. a little bit last season. And, right. And, and, we lo and we love Megan. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll hop into it. Guys, watch us on YouTube. Welcome back. Hello. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment. And please hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we've coming your way. If you'd like to see a full reaction to this and everything else we've watched or are watching, please check out the link in the description below to our Patreon page. Um, we are currently four or five episodes ahead over there, yep. uh, ahead of YouTube over on Patreon. If you want to jump over there uh, and uh, catch the next several, you'll need to sync and watch along on your own device or streaming service. We're also doing 30 Rock right now as a Patreon exclusive. So, man, we went 10 minutes last time and two minutes this time. We, That's fair. Well, we were, in, yeah, introing a new season and everything. All right. That's weird. Yeah, what just happened? Here, go back to the home button right there. Oh, okay, we're here. There we go. Uh, there we yeah, go. Cool. Well, sorry. All right, for those of you back with us on Patreon, welcome back, guys. We're going to start part two of A Little Kiss here in three, two, one. I'd, um, I'd feel better if I saw to his return. It's weird. That is weird. Oh, that's for you. All right, well, I don't know. I, I, does it feel racially tinged? I, I, no, I think there's something weird going on in Lane's head. I don't, I, I don't think he, I don't think he thinks it's a trusting thing. Okay. No. I think there's just a weird curiosity from Lane yeah. there, which I don't understand. Yeah, it's interesting. It's cool, but let's face it. There's a reason we started using. Yeah, it's way easier now. Yeah, shaving cream out of a can. Yeah. It's so, so, much, so much easier. Get Thirty minutes of shaving cream. <laughs> right. It's like you have to make your own shaving yeah. gel. That's <laughs> shaving lather. Aware that we plan on having him return. Simply wishes to earn what. Is he robbing this guy? Oh. This in exchange for my peace of mind. What? decorator yeah it sounds like lane's broke it and his wife doesn't yeah. know that that's why yeah. there's a wallet then i guess well maybe he's just curious he does. Right. i mean it's a hundred dollars that's not going to save him yeah but not with his lifestyle yeah that's what it was a last minute party because megan decided last minute to have yeah it. She's <laughs> that's not it conniving anyway. <laughs> right okay. yep she's mad at you bro yeah jane asked me which one's mussolini <laughs> <laughs> who's your great girl they're all great girls. At least until they want something. Let's go. Boy, that, well, look at Don, though. He's not wrong. Yeah. Why are we meeting in here? Yeah, Why? attacking all four from there. So, Mohawk is coming in. He's the adult here, right? Yeah. Where are they going to sit? Oh, uh, that's why I had the meeting. Oh. His office is small. Nor does Bix. Playtex, Life Cereal, Samsonite, Sugar Bear. Is he asking to switch offices with, with Roger? Because Roger doesn't need it. Yeah. What are you suggesting? He's suggesting that you give him your office. 
No, he's not. Yes. <laughs> Great party, Dom. <laughs> he does not like Harry, does he? I know. Never really seen it. I would have. I would have just stood up and grabbed a little French behind and pushed. Hi, Megan. Very funny. God, what I would do to her. Like what, for example? I'll tell you what. I would love to see those heels. God, Harry. Good morning. God. I'm a stand on you. Oh, you could have warned me. He did. He did warn. Did. Hi, Megan. Very funny. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. It is, especially since Don hates him. He's going to be working on her talking to Don all day. Yeah. You're not a secretary. I'm his girl. I'm like his wife, but I can't call myself that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So is this like Lane finding the life he wishes he had here? <laughs> this, this random wallet? Yeah. yeah. Why don't we do that? And I'll come by when I can. Hell. He didn't trust the cabbie, but some random girl could show up and get the wallet with yeah. all the money. Yeah. This woman directions to our office. She's on line three. Also, the insert the insert shots they're using too are uh, way different than they ever yeah. in the show. They're odd. Yeah, I don't know what they're getting at with this. Uh, I just think it's so. I, it's, I think it's the idea that Lane is yeah, happy. Yeah. No, that's okay. I think you should have a seat. Oh man, what's happening? I think it's something else. But it does seem serious regardless. We like to think of this place as a family. And there are certain ways a family behaves. Oh, well, maybe he... You have to hear my side of it. Your side of what? what? Nothing. You're always up to something, aren't you, Crane? <laughs> it was an honest mistake, and I consider myself reprimanded. Great. I was thinking Pete could take your office. Oh. You're not getting fired. Oh. <laughs> And what the hell did you do? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fun of Zooby Zoo. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> what would be an appropriate bonus? There's no bonuses. We have no money. How much would it take? Well, first of all, it's more than you could have on you. <laughs> yeah, clean his face. He's like, wow. That, that's how much. Why do you carry so much cash? It's more than a thousand, Harry. He just, want, he just want to switch offices that bad. Is a month's salary after taxes. I would take a month's I would salary take after it. Yep. taxes. Yeah. Support beam, here we go. All right. I'll decorate that beam. Yeah. So this it's is every month? Room. Get the hell out of my office. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that was pretty solid. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. All right, time to go see Dad. <laughs> I would have taken that money and yeah. been like, you got oh, yeah. I'll, I'll move offices. They didn't have flat screens back then, but now you just hang it up on the support beam. Seriously, yeah. yeah. Help the lady with the baby. Somebody at the door. She didn't look up, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, she did look up and yeah. didn't help. Yeah, she's like, ah, it's just junk. Look at that. He's okay. He looks like Roger. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, well, well. There's my baby. I move that brat out of the way so I can see her. <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god. Let me see that. <laughs> the cigarette is cigarette out. Is out. <laughs> different times. Yeah. Is he mad at me? I don't care. Who wouldn't want a surprise party? Oh, so this is all about yeah, Dawn. About yeah. That. She's yeah, she's gonna pick up on that, yeah. Am I allowed to go home? Of course. Yeah. Peggy gets it. Yeah. She's gonna rip into Dawn later. You are right. I apologize. Peggy's a sweetheart. She nailed that. Yeah, she did. But Peggy's the best, obviously. Yeah, she is. She gets it. Don's the worst. <laughs> Why is it that only Peggy can read people on the show? I know, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she has to talk to Don and be like, what did you do? <laughs> like, like I, I think Don knows Megan's upset and reads it yeah. fine, but he just isn't going to address it. No, he's not. He's a great at ignoring things. Yeah. I don't know how I ended up with him, but... <laughs> oh my god. I'll be speaking with you. And by the way, it's not healthy to pass a newborn it's around for an army no. of people. I think she wants to be alone. We don't know her at all. Well, Do you? Yeah, exactly. Mr. Price? Is it the girl here for the wallet? There's a gentleman here, the owner of the wallet, Mr. Polito. He's in reception. Shall I bring him back? He was hoping for Dolores. Right. 
What are you like, doing? Oh, photo? come on. Weirdo. That's weird, it's right? It's weird. It's very weird. Hold on. Hold on a second. Yeah. Oh, is this in the photo? No, he's going to give him some money to say thank you. Yeah, I figured he was counting. He knows he took the photo. Look at him. Yeah, he knows. You gotta take a reward. I couldn't possibly. I would. I would. I've done it before. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you. Okay. I mean it. You're a real gentleman. Yeah. You enjoyed that photo. <laughs> yeah, he, right? Yeah. He saw his face. He yeah, definitely, yeah, he definitely he noticed. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Where's Harry? Who cares? <laughs> 6 a.m. with Coca-Cola. Okay. That's pretty funny, actually. He's gonna send Roger out to Staten Island at 6 a.m. <laughs> that's funny. That's that's good. Oh, he's gotta go to Staten Island. Gotta go to Staten Island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're all here responding to your hilarious advertisement. Oh. <laughs> he was smiling uh, at that, yeah. <laughs> the humor was lost on them. Not on me. It was a childish prank. Because you're above yeah, that, right? It was. Uh, uh. <laughs> you leave us be there. You are going to have to interview and hire some of the people outside. Next episode, somebody's going to have one of these nice ladies as a secretary. Yes, they are. And I hope it's freaking Roger. Yeah, should be. Yeah. Grandpa over there. Right. And get rid of that artifact. Get rid of the artifact yeah. because it was sent very malintent. Yeah. I did love Don's reaction. He was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fantastic premiere, guys. Oh, yeah. I love this. Love it so much. Like, it there's, was really. There's a, there's a lot going on this season for sure. Yes. The dynamics are not lost at all. Um, yeah. So the Don Megan thing, maybe a toxic love? Maybe, <laughs> slightly? Maybe. I. I I think Dawn kind of rallied there and told Megan what she needed to hear to feel okay about herself. But I, I also think Megan isn't an idiot either, right? No, no she's not dumb at all. I, I feel like this was an episode where Megan, Dawn's right. She kind of had the curtain pulled back a little bit. She did. And it's like, you, she said herself, you guys are all cynical and you're miserable and yeah. you're hateful. And that's not really who Megan is. And I, no. I guess in her previous job, she didn't have to deal with that. But now she's dealing with the creatives and she's in, she's behind the curtain. Having a party with all these people over to their house and, you know, people like Harry and Stan and the way they were acting. And I still don't buy Dawn's line about like, I didn't want them in my home. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't. I, I, I think he's indifferent to whether or not they're in his home or not. I think he would just yeah. kind of say it in his own face. He wasn't I, there. I, I think she gave him an avenue with that. She did. Oh, my God. Those people are terrible. Yeah, baby. That's why I didn't even want him yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, no, Don. You didn't want him there because you didn't want the yeah. attention. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, she's right. I don't think she wants to be tainted by these people either because right. they are quite negative. But, you know, they you, are, right? you get it. You know, I mean, you're at any job for a long time with a lot of people that have been there forever, sure. it's going to be a weird well, dynamic. And, and you see the generational weirdness, right? Megan, yeah. Megan is young and optimistic, yes. and let's face it, part of, see, seemingly part of the emerging counterculture, but based on the party that she had. Yeah. Um, and then you look at these old stodgy men at the end who are like, oh my god, we have to hire one of these people. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know? It, she does not fit with that group of people, including Don, no. really. Um. Obviously, Roger's awful. Um, he's uh, so bad. He's such a fool. I mean, I, I get that he's a clown, right? I, yeah. He's a he's a, he is the jester of the we, office. We do love us some Roger, right? Uh, but racism we, aside, you know. right? It's so weird because you know we, we were kind of calling out his racism on the Japanese episode. Yeah, you, and a lot of people are like Roger isn't racist. It's because of the war. I'm like, that's not well, racist. <laughs> that's not the, sure. Okay, I'll, I'll, you can even excuse that. Like, yeah, I get it. You know, friends that died and all of that. Sure, but this isn't. The, the first time that we've seen him be a little, you know, br bring it when it comes to the African American community. Truly, not the first time. Yeah, we saw Roger in blackface. Like, right. Thing, yeah. So I mean, I, I feel like if you've seen, uh, uh, you know, the bulk of the show, uh, Roger's problematic sometimes for yeah. sure. I get it. Different era. You know, maybe it's not as big a deal. Maybe right. The, maybe the hip movement really hits him, and all of a sudden he's he could. Uh, right. It could happen. You right. Know, yeah. I mean, mean, who knows? The world is a changing place. I guarantee that. You know, we we started off. What was his name? Paul Kinsey. Paul Remember Kinsey. him in yeah. the old office that they didn't bring along because he was kind of dead weight? Um, he was like, you know, 
really um, performatively progressive. I was going to say performatively. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, Pete uh, is actually progressive. Right, yeah. But kind of keeps it close to the vest. I mean, obviously his wife doesn't agree with him. Yeah. Um, or she, I, think she, I think it's more of an ignorance thing. I think it's more like Trudy's rich. Absolutely. Well, yeah. Pete's rich too, but I mean like... I, they both had the rich upbringing, but, yeah. but, but, but Pete is definitely more open-minded. So yes. Somehow it worked out for Pete. It did. Um, it did. And, uh, you know, it's it, it, there's there's a this, this emerging idea. I do think as we move closer to the seventies, yeah, because uh, we still have a couple seasons left. And plus, I don't know where this season sits time wise. How how you know how much time we're going to go through? I think it's sixty six, sixty seven. That's my guess. Right around in there, right? Yeah. At least starting. Um, and I I expect to see the emergence of some of the characters. I mean, America changed during this time. It did. I expect some of the characters to do the same. Yeah. Not all of them. I I, I don't know that that. That Burt Cooper is all of a sudden going to become more open minded, you know. I love the argument at the, at the party between him and uh, yeah, right. uh, Peggy's boyfriend, right, and, and Stan, obviously. Yeah, uh, but they because they were right in the money with it, and then of course Burt's scapegoat was uh, Stan's cousin. Yeah, you're telling me he's coming back in a body he's bag be, yeah, for, for no yeah. reason. We all know those people too. Which well, for sure. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you know, it, let's face it, at the time, the, the younger guys there could have been just easily could have been wrong. The domino effect could have been a a real thing. Sure. It didn't pan out that way. But we already had, what, 20 years of the whole time? Like, the blacklisting was, like, what, the 50s? Yeah, we, yeah no, no we, we've definitely, we've been out of the war, out That's of World War II for 20 years, right? Yeah, it, it really was a money grab. Let's, let's be real here. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but I mean, the Cold War was still raging, so sure. I kind of get it. I mean, the, the Vietnam War wasn't fought to free or hurt the people of Vietnam. It was a proxy war between America and the Soviet Union. Americans supporting one side, Soviet Union supporting the other. Yeah. <laughs> It's a mess. It, yeah, it was, it. it was it was <laughs> right. But um yeah, I, I think that party and that conversation were great to kind of highlight these generational differences, right? And now we have Megan who like who's like again, peeked behind the curtain of, of, of some of these people and it's yep. been like odd, <laughs> you yep. know. She's she's in a younger, more optimistic generation. She is. And obviously some of these other guys aren't. No. Um no, and Don is well. Don doesn't really have a generation, you know what I mean? Like he kind of shows his age sometimes, but like he's just go with the flow, you know. Yeah, the, Don, as we we saw in season one, is a guy that can kind of blend in with whoever Everybody. happens to be around him. Everybody. Right. Um, it doesn't mean he's happy with anybody. Less um, so as as the show goes on, he is right. showing his age more and more. Sure. Yeah, he's getting old. Like remember last season, the the Ali fight, right? Um, yeah. on the suitcase episode, which yeah. I love so much. Um. You know, the idea of, yeah, these young kids, you know, name with Muhammad Ali, they don't know how to work for it. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, his, his, his the cracks are showing age-wise a little bit as, he's, as he gets older and, and is losing touch. Yeah. Um, culturally. I do think, because, like, they showed it. They went out of their way several times to make, um, I want to say, allusions to Pete becoming who Don was in the, right. in the first season. Sure. And, you know, you kind of buddy up Don a lot, this, these two episodes, with yeah. Roger. And it really does feel like I don't want to say a change of the guard, but it is a transition phase. It sure. really is like Don is becoming Roger, not exactly the same as Roger, just like Pete's not exactly the same as Don. It's just these are the roles they're working right. Right. Now, Don know? Don seems to be coasting a little bit like Roger used to. Sure. Roger is utterly pointless at this point. He's becoming I, I think, Bert because what does Bert right. do? Hang out in the office without his shoes on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bert Bert doesn't actually work there. I think yeah. he's a partner and he just shows up for partner meetings. Yeah. Um, I mean, at the end of the last season, he was like, it was lovely working with you all. And yeah. Obviously, he's still there. But yeah. Right, sure. Um, and also, the Lane thing. We should touch upon that a little bit. Um, yeah, Lane. I kind of thought we had his crisis thing, because he kind of was having a midlife crisis the last season. I thought at the beginning it was all, right? We, we, go, for, we go from him having a girlfriend in yeah. the United States while his wife is back home. His dad be, tries to beat some sense into him, he literally. Quite literally. Pit him yeah. With him. And now we get, you know, and then we, so then we see them back together. Like, okay, so Lane's kind of fixed his personal life a little bit it seems to be more comfortable in it yeah and that's not the case first off lane is having money problems for sure big time um and he's kind of like we, we spent some time here where it seemed like he was trying to imagine himself into somebody else's life a little bit i think so it, you know the, the guy he met the yearning for the younger woman he wants right. to be the mysterious person in the cab you know what i mean like or freer i guess more i don't free, know I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he was gonna leave his wife Right, he was. Good. That's how he left his character in the last season. He was right. going to leave his wife. It kind of feels like he wishes he did at this point. I think so. Um, and obviously, he's having trouble paying for his kid's college. Right, that sucks. You know, I mean, I think it's. I think it's private school. I don't think private it's school. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's. Okay, yeah, his, his kid was little. Yeah, yeah, his kid was younger. That's right. Um, Nigel. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I wonder where we're headed with his character as well. Whether it is some sort of 
midlife crisis or if it is just a, a longing to be somebody else entirely. Sure. Well, I, I think it's fair to call to say that he's been in kind of a midlife. Coming to America has put him in his midlife crisis a little bit. I mean, it's different. He's known one thing his whole life, then he comes right. to America, and it's all different, new, and exciting. And well, he, he he definitely doesn't have the life that the other guys, the other partners have, right? He's not had that life. I mean, you've got you've got now two of his of the three partners. Or I guess a junior pizza junior too, uh-huh. but two of the three major partners uh, married their secretaries. Left their wives and married their secretaries. <laughs> you know, I, I think that Lane might be thinking of Don and Roger as being free in a way that he's not. Yeah. Um, to kind of do whatever they I want. I agree. Yeah. And, and, and he, I mean, like I said, his dad beat him with a cane pretty bad um, because Lane isn't free to do what he wants. But also, think about his dynamic with everybody. I, I love, Lane is so supportive of everyone. Sure. We obviously had the great Lane and, and Don episode. Right. I still well, think he was like, great. He was great today. I still think about the the, the scene of them in the theater. The belt buckle yeah, was amazing. The big Texas belt buckle. <laughs> uh, he's always supportive of Pete. He's right. Always telling Pete congratulations. Was yep. very sincere about when Pete had a kid. Him and Joan yes, have a very sincere right. relationship yeah, he, as well. He was really great with Joan today. Um, I, I guess we don't really see much of him and Roger together. No, almost never. Yeah, but, but then uh, again, Roger doesn't do much. I, you know, exactly. Yeah. He um, hangs out with Don and tells jokes and 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 angers Pete because because, because Pete yeah because Pete's trying to get some stuff done. I love that we actually saw him going. Stop Where are you up. going? Shut up! Yeah, that, come on, Roger. Yeah, he's bros. Um, but yeah, it, it's very interesting dynamics, and I think we're gonna like season four. We had a huge change, right? Right. I think we're gonna get something similar this season. I don't think it's gonna be the same thing. I don't think it's gonna be a surprise no. engagement. But I mean, right. I think they are planning something, and what it is. I don't know. Well, yeah, because again, as as we've said all along, this is kind of the story of America, right? Yep. And, cha- and chasing the American dream, which is a, yep. a, a, a moving, um, unhittable target. Which is why they're all miserable all the time, no matter how rich and successful they yes. get. They're, Don is miserable no matter how much money he's making, because you know, hey, I got the money now, I'm happy, right? I yep. got the wife now, I'm happy, right? No, he's not happy. You're never happy because it's a myth. Sure um, and so as America grows and changes. The characters are going to, right? I there's so. there's going to be some transition with the characters. I think having the, the riots start the show, Yeah, was a, I, I think it's going to be, that's going to signal a, season, a people, right? Yes. A change is coming. All right, we will catch you on the next one, guys. See ya.